Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey, welcome back to Tim Friend. We are gonna speak to Felix. It's a great time. I in but the, the in the between episodes, I had lunch with Sylvain and Ingrid. I don't know why I hadn't boosted their motivations yet, but I did so. So now we can train them uh, after the mission. But maybe like a week after the mission, I don't know. Anyway, what's Felix gotta say? You're certainly not going easy on me. You fight like a mercenary, not a knight. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Uh, should I take that as a compliment? You dork? Indeed. Okay, so it is a compliment. Knights ought to have some hunger. I've always thought so. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tools. Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. Alright, fucking edge lord. Really leaning into his edgelord role this time. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. That doesn't seem like praise. Because of the morality of it? You may take it however you like. I believe that the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win, yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. Man, these Byleth Felix supports are going to murder me. They're going to turn my throat into dust. Then I remembered something you said before. Uh, about your aspirations? Indeed. I was raised to, raised to value strength above all else. Whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? Uh, to survive. Because I was a mercenary. That's a mercenary's answer, to be sure. So that is the source of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. Uh, we can find it together. Yeah. Uh, if we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Oh, god, that really ruins my Shadow the Hedgehog demeanor. Perhaps it'll come to me as I swing my sword. Is that a euphemism, Felix? Wow. Alright, his motivation's up. Uh, bup, 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 bup. I think we're good to go. Finish exploring. End the free time. Proceed to the mission. We don't get to teach him because we get, I guess, just a week of free time for no reason. Like, why can't we instruct on that day? What's the deal? It's the dude's birthday. Give that motherfucker some flowers. He'll like that shit. Fucker loves flowers. We got any certifs? Uh, no. All we got was Dimitri up to level 10 and Felix up to level 10 for the archer. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's look at the marketplace. Uh, see if... We have, we okay, we do have battalions on everyone. That's great. That's great news for me. Uh, how about the blacksmith? Uh, training god is fine. Uh, Iron Lance is getting a little weak, but we still got the Steel Lance Plus and the Training Lance Plus. Hand X is, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Obviously fine. Ingrid's fine. All right, cool. Then let's go to fight the guy. Wait, let's go back to buy some intermediate seals. <laughs> we're gonna need a bunch of them after this mission, I think. Might as well get them out the gate. All right, off to Conan Tower, the Gautier inheritance. That's right, so people stole a relic and, uh, and that's bad. They stole one of the things that, that Catherine has. Like a cool sword that looks like it's made of bones. How mysterious. What a mysterious substance for weapons to be made out of. It doesn't seem like it'd be very effective to have a, a great sword made of bone. But listen, I'm no blacksmith, nor am I a bonesmith. It should be on our site soon, Professor. The abandoned tower those thieves are using as a base. Conan. 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 That is not... Uh, easy, uh, what is it, phoneme? Is that the term? It's not a f easy phoneme to make with my mouth hole. Also, this is Gilbert. Hi. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago. That's when invasions from the north were at their peak. Back then, this tower was built for the surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. Hope you like plosives. 
You're very well informed, Gilbert. Please, let us hear more of that silly voice more. Well, I... Oh, you're joking. Professor, did you see the local villages? They're in rough shape, no doubt because of the thief attacks. They're not going to make it through the winter in that condition. If thieves had taken up pillaging in order to survive, that would be deplorable. But understandable. But this... This is something else entirely. It looks as though they destroyed those villages purely for pleasure. No matter what their reasons may be, that sort of behavior cannot be allowed. Ever. Alright. Doth protest too much over there, Dimitri. Don't bother losing your head over those lowlifes, Your Highness. It's wasted effort. Sylvain? The thieves' leader? The one who stole the relic? Word has it he's your brother. I know he's been disowned, but... He is no longer a member of House Gautier, or my brother. He's nothing more than a common thief. Are you sure about that? It would be understandable to find the situation... Well, regrettable, to say the least. Regrets? You must be joking. You know we're far past the point of regret. And it always falls on the younger brother to clean up the mistakes of their elders, doesn't it? Damn. It seemed like he might not be too happy with his brother. This ring threatens a coming storm. We must hurry and begin our war council before the heavens let loose. Man, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just sing the next line. And then I had to fucking circle Dimitri's voice before I could figure it back out. At least, like, Dimitri's voice, I didn't make it super weird. And he talks all the time, so it's really easy to keep his voice in mind. It's also less than a week since my last recording session. That makes it a little easier, but, like, I have no idea how I talked as Gilbert. It's just gone. So, honestly, Gilbert... That dude's gonna have some silly fucking voices in the future. Alright. We got our units. We deploy everyone. We gotta start bringing along a friend, don't we? So we can get the support points with him, I guess? Uh. I mean, no, it makes sense to do that. We should totally do that. Okay. Uh, so this mission... Honestly, this is one of my least favorite missions in the game. Uh, partly because it feels poorly laid out. Like, I understand aesthetically what they're going for like it's a tower and you kind of spiral up the tower okay that makes sense however it also leaves for largest stretches of space with not a lot of threats like from this mage to these guys there's just nothing here this does end up being a battlefield anyway just because i often get pushed back because there's this group of vulnerary wielding enemies that uh i often uh trick into attacking me earlier than they should because you can put like an archer here and shoot this guy and and then they all go hey let's start running downstairs and kill them but like it it just seems there's there's only one way to go through it and it's the longest way to the center possible a big spiral and then there's secondary objectives but the cost for going and getting them is just to slow you down longer they're not in danger of running away this guy is an asshole. He's a advanced class or whatever the fuck it's called. He's a he's a, a fortress knight, but he's got an accuracy ring, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and then let's see, Miklon himself has the lance of ruin uh, and a big scar on his face. Look, he looks like a dark side Dimitri, not Dimitri. Sylvain, silly Billy. Uh, one thing I do like this is just a clever flavor touch that they did. They made his personal ability steal because he's a thief and he stole the thing. That's this funny. It's a little goof they did. That's fun. Uh, in addition, we've got Gilbert, uh, who we do not get to control. Uh, he's an ally. He will basically just roll towards the nearest enemies. Uh, we're also going to get hit by reinforcements from these stairs. Two waves. Uh, one wave of two thieves and then a wave of two thieves and two mages. Uh, and then we're going to hit by two waves of two thieves each from these stairs, these doors here. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty basic mission of just, like, slog your way up the stairs. Uh, right up until we get to the boss. And when we beat Miklon, then there will be a second secret boss that, well, you'll just have to see to believe. Uh, let's figure out who we're gonna have stay behind to fight these guys. Because Gilbert will lose, uh, if he's forced to fight the reinforcements from behind by himself. Uh, so I kind of want a guy with... a guy. I kind of want someone with high resistance and someone with high speed or... Like maybe to do in someone. Uh, oh, let's. I gotta get gotta get my thing jam out so I can see who's getting with who. Uh, Mercedes has amazing resistance, uh, but I might keep Ingrid and Sylvain back. Well, Sylvain's got jack shit for resistance, but I mean I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, 
Ash, though. We could have Ingrid and Ash do it. They're both, I mean, fairly fast. None of them are going to be as fast as the thieves, because they just have absurdly fast uh, attack speed. Like, where, where's the thief? Is here one? Yeah, his attack speed's 11. I don't think I have anyone with attack speed 11 in, in my party. Let's, let's give it a check. 10, 9, uh, well, never mind. I do have some people with higher than that. All right. Well, uh, maybe I'll leave, like, Dimitri and Felix, because they're already at 10. No, but I kind of want to bring Dimitri with me so I can give Byleth up. Uh, how's, how's Felix's? His attack speed is 3. Oh, because he's wielding a steel bow. Well, that's a bummer in the summer. So his attack speed will be freaking 9 if I keep him down here. That's not bad. It's just his resistance blows. All right. Let's figure it out. It's going to be these three. Felix, Sylvain, Ingrid. They're going to stay behind. Everyone else going to roll up forward. All right. Let's save. <laughs> and stall the video for another 20 Earth minutes before we actually start. No, we're going to start. I'm just kidding. It's uh, This is one of the first times I've... I've started a recording session and leapt right into combat, though. It's interesting. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They're mainly thieves, but they have a hero's relic. Do not drop your guard. Don't hold back for my sake. My brother's gonna pay for everything he's done. Also, Gilbert's Annette's dad? They can't talk to each other. She doesn't even try. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, man. I want them to talk to each other. Make me sad when they don't. Make me sad when they don't talk to each other. Come on. Uh, all right. Well, let's bust out a training bow, like heavy draw on this guy, just to trigger this group of enemies into rolling down at us. Uh, hopefully we can get them when they're like here instead of fighting them where I usually do, which is here, which makes them sort of overlap with this group of enemies and the reinforcements that come from here, which means I usually get pinced in a hell realm. Uh, and I don't like being in those hell realms. They're, they're honestly not my favorite realms. All right, we'll roll up with Baleth, and we'll roll up with Dimitri. Dimitri actually is going to stay a little bit behind. Dadu is going to roll up front uh, with a steel axe in his hand and a banjo on his knee, because uh, they will only be able to attack him, and they'll only be able to do zero damage. Uh, Mercedes rolls up, and Dimitri just rolls up. We'll put him next to Byleth just to get him ready for the next turn. Uh, Ingrid and Sylvain gotta move back. This might be a time where I have to do a Divine Pulse all the way back to the beginning of the mission. It it, it doesn't happen often for me. I'm, I, well, I did it today, actually. I, there's a, a paralogue with Manuel and Hanneman that I did so poorly in that I had to like do a, I just had to restart. I had to deploy different people because it was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And this was on New Game Plus Plus. So like I had fucking everything ready to go and I still got into like an unwinnable position, which is a bummer uh, for me because like Divine Pulse is there to make so that that shit never happens. But it also makes it so that when it does happen, it's like, whoa, I cannot believe that this happened. I cannot believe that this happened to me of all people. I do a YouTube where I'm supposed to be uh, at least marginal at Fire Emblem. All right, Mercedes. We can get Mercedes and Timberly up to 10 because uh, they're at their place that I want them to be. Uh, I don't remember anything that we're doing with anyone, but I will look it up. and You will know when I do that I'm doing the thing that I want to do. You get that? <laughs> Was that comprehensible in any way? I doubt it. Uh, let's use wind to blow him away. Woo! Get speed. Get speed. Get speed. Nope. Son of a ding dong. All right. Roll up, Ash. All right. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to make a net have a better speed growth. I looked up her speed growth. It's 35%. It's not the greatest. Uh, but, oh, there's wave one, two thieves. It'll be the porch from the lower floor, watch the rear flank. You got it, buddy. You're not going to turn around, though, are you? You madman. You're just going to run straight up, and then you'll turn around later, you weirdo. Yep. Cool. What a cool guy. 
Uh, who will we send after this rogue? Uh, the problem with this rogue is that he has a battalion, the Miklan Private Militia. Uh, and he's just going to use that freaking gambit on us as much as he can. So what I'm going to do is send Dimitri over there because he's got good charm. I believe... Whoop. Uh, charm lets you uh, be better at avoiding enemy gambits. So someone with high charm will be have a high gambit avoidance rate. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm sending Dimitri in particular, because his charm is massive right now for some reason. No, I'm not opposed to it, it's just got, it's got massive charm. What can I say? Roll up with Mercedes and with Ash. Yeah, you see what I mean? After beating those two Axemen, rolling up from here, from like here to fight these, this mage, this one mage, is boring. It feels like turns wasted. And like, even if I had turned around to fight these reinforcements, then I'd have to walk all the way back up. So that's why I split my party up, so I can do this and have less to micromanage, I guess. Uh, we are doing... Let's see, Felix is fine. He doesn't need the... Um, the bow, the archer class skill. So we don't ne necessarily need you have him do chip damage. Uh, he can kill that friend. Uh... Ba, 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 and there, we don't need them to be to hit their class max either, do we? No. All right, so let's let's see how our friends do. I, I mean, Ingrid's doubling them. That's pretty sweet, honestly. I don't know if I've ever seen that happen. When, but usually, whenever I leave someone behind to fight these things, it's like someone who is already slow moving, like Dudu or Raphael or something like that. So it's often they're doubling me for zero damage. The Ting Tings, as a friend of mine would say. Uh, so it's, it's weird for me to see, like, someone like even Sylvain get a double attack on these fools. I'm glad of it, though. Don't get me wrong. Wow, hit plus one. How amazing. And then Felix. Felix Navidad. Put these efforts to sleep. Hell yeah. And the brawlers are at max. It's another strength. That's great. Avoidance plus ten, that's fine. I don't remember what it was before. It was probably like eight or something else. It's not great. Vulnerary crew keeps rolling around. We bait out this archer. I really wish I had kept the healer down here somehow. Gilbert keeps rolling north. Gildan Gilbert is Nolan north. It's a little goof. I don't know. Did you like it? Uh, let's roll up here and throw a javelin at this man. Because he's going to gambit me. And that will mean that I cannot retaliate against his attack. That's a shitty level up for a battalion, but am I complaining? No. Me? Never. Uh, Annette. Your defense is six. Yours is eight. Uh, attack 17. Hmm. That's all right. That's, that's, could be voice. Wait, it should be there. No, it should be there. I'm gonna send Annette and Ash up to bait the archer, Mercedes to bait the archer and the mage, me to go support with Mercedes, and to do to just kind of sit where he is. Everyone over here. Oh, good. I didn't give them any healing items. I'm so glad for that. Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to bits. I'm just like a Pokemon. I'm thrilled to bits. Uh, we could use Felix. But we can't kill this man outright. That's a bummer in the summer. Uh, let's use the training bow just because it's got more uses and we'll kill him in two shots anyways. Regardless of what bow we use. We're moving back just so that I can maybe bring Mercedes down here and get some physic heals from a distance. Uh, maybe also fall back far enough that I can trade some vulnerabilities or concoctions to them via Byleth. Zetus predictably takes zero damage from the enemy magician and retaliates with slight force, as it's called. <laughs> Vulnerary crew keeps rolling around. Archer shoots at Sylvain again. Impolite. Don't like it. This archer comes up and smacks Annette. I don't love it. The rest of the Vulnerary crew, yada yada yada, shoots Mercedes. Great. Oh, cool. Now this group's rolling up, too. 
Well, that's just great. Yeah, come on in the help, Gilbert. Gilbo. We're going to keep rolling back with Sylvan and Ingrid. Because the longer they, uh... Oh, he didn't do his Gimbeat. Did he not do his Gimbeat? Because I, I hurt him somehow. I'm fine with him not doing his Gambit. That just make, means I can kill him immediately. And get a chest key. Hooray for chest me. We'll roll over with Felix. And shoot this man. Boop. He's dead. Felix level 11. He is good. Speed. Hey, my dog. Good job, Felix. Mercedes can fall back. Physic. Oh, she can only physic on that from there. All right, well, we'll move Annette back. It looks like we're going to just kind of collapse back here anyway. Uh, just while we fight these archers and uh, this mage and get Dimitri back and make sure we heal our, our good friends, Ingrid and Sylvain, which will make this mission take approximately one eternity. So that's an approximation. It could take two eternities or 0 0.9 eternities. I don't think we're going to get any less than 0 0.75 eternities, though, because uh, there's a lot of walking around in this mission. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can uh, pull back in such a way that between episodes I can move us forward and uh, not bore the shit out of you and myself by just yammering on on autopilot about nothing. Probably, what I would probably be saying, if you're worried about missing incredible content, A, uh, why are you here? And B, I can give you a preview of it. It's what I say every time I move a character. <laughs> All right, now this person rolls up, and now this person rolls up, and then this person rolls up, and then this person rolls up. All right, who's next? All right, this person rolls up, and this person rolls up, et cetera, et cetera. Ad nauseam. All right, we will have Mercedes plink this man so that we can have... Annette, get the kill. Uh, while only taking one shot from an archer because she kills the one that she's attacking. Uh, Dimitri, we'll pop this chest. Armor Slayer, that's fine. Who cares? Not me. Everyone else keeps rolling back. Could have used Mercedes to do a heal. Didn't, uh, but that's okay. Let's convoy. Uh, Pochi? Ooh, concoction. And then trade it to Ash. And we'll have Ash give it to Annette. And then maybe next turn they can grab and chug a lug from Annette. To do it, you're fine. Just chill where you are. There's that second wave. It's like three turns apart. That's the last wave of reinforcements from the south. What is that mage doing? I do not know. But the rest of his party is still venturing forth. Uh, as well as the Vulnerary crew. How do you do? This archer rolls over to shoot Annette. Very rude. Very impolite. Gilbert's going to roll up and smack that armored knight on his turn. Which is going to be fine. Uh, yeah, he'll... Oh, he'll smack the thief. I can't believe he hit. That's well done. But uh, the enemy gets the Tang Tangs against him because he is a fortress knight. You'll notice his defense is 15. His resistance is 7, uh, which would, would me normally mean that a mage could just go ham on this mother effer, but uh, it's probably not what's going to happen. Instead, we're going to... Let's see. Yeah, wow. If we, if we move up to do, they're going to do more damage to Gilbert than to do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Great. Uh, if we keep... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Meow. Let's move Mercedes and have her physic Ingrid. And we'll move Annette down here. We'll have her vulnerary herself. And then Sylvain will come down here, trade for the concoction, and chug it. Felix rolls north and uses a curved shot because fuck it, I want to kill this guy. I keep accidentally nudging the mic cord. It makes me sad. 
Ash rolls up here. And Timberly up to here. Dimitri starts to come back. Ingrid takes position next to Sylvain so that they can both receive a thief. Re receive a thief. Receive. You know, receive. I, wow, Gilbert got that kill. Gilbert has hit every time with those low-ass hit chances. Well done, Gilbert. Also, fuck off, Gilbert, for taking my kill. But whatever. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Did you roll up? Get? Yep, that's... <laughs> Dexterity? I'll fucking take it. Gotta get that accuracy. Back that accuracy. Excuse me. There we go. God, I can feel that one coming. Rolling down the highway. Headed for adventure and whatever else comes their way. Oh, the classic maneuver of trying to hit with gambits, which you can't hurt with your weapons. Oh, that one tried a gambit on Sylvain, which would have hurt Annette. I would have been mad, because Annette is precious child. Do not hurt. It's okay. They missed and did not hurt. Ingrid gets E+, but loses her battalion. The mages are present. <laughs> Hey, Gilbert missed something. I'm glad. That means I can roll in with my gauntlets and punch this man to death. What is what is the term for what those those training gauntlets are? I know there's some kind of weapon, there's some kind of term for them, there's some kind of word to describe them. I don't know what it is. I keep forgetting. I think it starts with a B. Maybe it's got maybe an A and an O in there, like an ow type deal. I don't know what they got going on. I don't Give a donk. I do give a donk. I want to know. <laughs> Please tell me. Uh, let's have Ash see if we can hand axe this archer to death. He can. That's fantastic. Oh, he gets a level out of it. Gets strength and speed. Please. Thank you. Ash, you did exactly what I asked of you. Uh, Annette uh, can roll a hard number of damage. A 23 on that thief. Does that mean she can one-shot this man? It certainly does. Ooh, she's almost 10. And you know what that means. And she can class change after this mission. It's not that exciting. Sylvain gets a single attack. And Grid gets a single attack. This is a much faster thief, somehow. How? How? How am I not double attacking this man? What is what is going on? That's fine. I'm not even mad. We're going to use Felix to shoot man with Stilbo. He's dead. So Wayne, stab this man with Lance. He's dead. He fall down. Strength and speed, buddy. Oh, you guys. Did I just have to ask this whole time? Was that all I had to do was just ask for strength and speed? Almost guaranteed no. I'm almost positive I've asked for it a bunch of times. Yeah, do the training, Lance Ingrid. Get some strength and speed when you level up to 10. You're getting there. One step at a time, buddy. All right, we'll roll up with Mercedes, see what we can do. Uh, let's heal Dimitri because he's heading towards the front lines. But you're going to stay around there for a little bit, Mercedes. Here's the crew! Now they're rolling in. Trying to gambit on Gil gambit on Gilbert. Not gonna do much, but it's great for me. Yeah, they can't do shit with that. Get out of here. Mage shoots Sylvain for a pittance. Mage shoots... Ooh, tries to use a battalion on Ingrid, just because the magic will do nothing. Gilbert jacking some more experience. It's fine. Now he's definitely not ever going to die, because that may have been... Yeah, that's the last mage on this map. So, Gilbert, you're in it for the long haul, my dude. All right, let's roll with me. Me, I'm here. Can't can't quite kill any of those guys, so let's let's try the do-do-do-do-do. All right, that's... It's a lot of damage, but I don't know if we can rock it, because at 50%. How many Divine Pulses we got? Three? Yeah, I ain't want to risk it for the, quite that biscuit. Let's punch this other thief. 
Because if we don't, he'll probably either kill himself on Gilbert, which, whatever, it's not exactly what I want, but it's, if I try sometimes, it might be exactly what I need. Uh, or suicide on Timberly, which is also bad, because uh, Timberly does not have the physical defense of a Dudu. Yeah, it's 26 damage. If I take 10 from this guy, I might, I might ding dang die. But I don't think I can kill any. Ooh, mm, no, nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope, 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 uh, nope, 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 no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Use a gambit. That's too weak. Turn back time. Do it with Timberly. Use the gambit. Mm, that's not great. I really want to kill these guys. Do 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 We'll kill this guy with the steel gauntlets and then we'll move up Timberly and I sing a song from Pokemon. That is how you know I am a dork as long as well as this other this YouTube channel that I run. Like, that's how you know I'm a dork. You might be a dork if you watch my videos, and I'm sorry. I'm just saying you might be a dork. You don't... Listen, even if you are a dork, that's not a big deal, okay? Being a dork is fine. It's it's fine. No one cares if you're a dork. The people who do care only care as much as it lets them feel as though they are superior in that sense. And that's, you know, it's, it's lame for them to... If they make fun of you with that, but... Like, it's, you got to recognize that we all got fucking shit we're trying to do so that we can feel stable, we can feel control in this world. And sometimes that's people's going to be making fun of people. So it's not that they're necessarily like a great person and they should be lauded and rewarded for making fun of you for being a dork. But it doesn't necessarily mean that A, you are a dork and B, that being a dork is a thing that matters at all. Not like uh, there's some kind of crazy hierarchy that's going on where dorks and nerds are still reviled. Uh, why is one guy go for me and one guy go for Mastitis? What is going on with that? I don't know. Keep rolling over the Dimitri, though. All right. Next time on Tim Friend, uh, I'm going to kill these guys, and then we're going to make our way around to here. All right. Bye, everybody. Wah 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 w